Hello everyone, my name is Danny. In today's video, we're going to talk about the two indicator that is uh, used for the confirmation of the trend. And uh, it's really good uh, indicator, to be honest with you. That is one of the, my top three indicator. First, we're going to go in for RSI and uh, Ichikomoko and uh, that is by third and uh, it's really good confirmation we're gonna go in for the two indicator that we're gonna tell you and uh, describe it for you and I'm gonna on the end of the, this video I'm gonna you I'm gonna tell you how to use those one with the price action stay tuned for me and let's get it started First, we're going to go in for the indicator and oscillator and search for VMC. We have a two, two indicator that we're going to use, woman to cipher B and woman to cipher A. Apply on the chart and, uh, and uh, cipher A based on the EMA the number when you're going to the setting and the C the ribbon is being made by the EMA different duration and uh, that is wave trend for the moving averages and they show us the some of the indicator that is overbought on oversold uh, we use those one for kind of the get a signal get a confirmation of the our position that we're gonna be open let's uh that is number i reckon it's better to put it on the default because the this uh shape is being made based on the those number oversold wave trend uh, oversold and the wave trend overbought. We're gonna go in for the uh first we're gonna introduce the ribbon for you. And uh as a ribbon, you know the ribbon is based on the EMA. On the mark the uh, cipher A is also is uh kind of the based on the EMA. If the price is like obvious, if the price above the EMA or ribbon is uh we are on the uptrend if the price below the ribbon is price is downtrend when the price above the ribbon the ribbon is changed to the blue and the, if the price uh below the ribbon is going to the gray uh that is obvious to be honest with you is a uh, not big deal and uh we can you're gonna get it based on the price action too based on the form of the candle as well we're gonna go in for disable the ribbon for now ribbon is being disabled we have another line here as well that is really important for us the line when they get into the green that is give us the confirmation like a ribbon exactly like a ribbon but this one is more important for us to compare with the ribbon for me as uh, everyone has a different strategy and uh, as much as you get the best strategy best confirmation of your strategy keep it up and uh this is for me is a confirmation of the trend and uh that is exactly the last moving average uh sorry ema that is uh, on the ema 8 based on the 34 length and uh we're gonna go in for next step next step to identify the shape that is appear on the this area such as 
uh, blue triangle and the uh, red X and the uh, uh, you know yellow X or diamond red diamond I'm gonna tell you what's uh, each of them is meaning first blue triangle blue triangle is potentially we have a reversal on the market because I said to you we not use the triangle or any come from any indicator for the finding out the trend or finding out the position because it's completely wrong because all of the indicator is not magic you need to find it out the sentiment of the market blue triangle it's potentially reversal for me green circle is potentially for the long position when we have a triangle and one green circle as well potentially we have to get the confirmation based on the price and the move uh, like a uh, based on the price and the horizontal support and resistance we are gonna going for the open the trend red diamond is bearish continuation that is potentially bear is more control on the market that is here it's really important for us this signal because potentially the bear mark bear is going to be controlled the market but this one is completely wrong completely up different because as i said to you market is fake out coming below the this line and uh get a get enough liquidity and they're going up the red cross or red uh, x is show us the short potentially short position right as you can see here this is not that's what i said to you this is red cross is uh, red x or red cross is happened and the diamond has happened but it's still moving up yellow diamond is bullish signal as you can see here three yellow diamond is coming here that is based on the three candle is happened on the area of the support market bear couldn't come into the market because they don't want to open the position on the, this area of the support right i just want to identify a little bit this area of the support just turn it to the green this area of the support bear not coming to the day but bull is still is being cautious about the market still we're gonna go in for the uptrend that is pretty good area for us for area of the key area of the support and the yellow x is manipulation uh we not use uh, to be honest with you i'm not using that much a lot because you can find it out on the price easy and uh that is for basic thing about the cipher a and uh we're gonna go in for the some of the example is uh i'll just identify for you this is blue triangle is happened market is bounced up and um that is not good example and this is red triangle is happen here that is sort of the confirmation for our trade market is bounced down and the uh, blue triangle is a uh, same too you know it's uh happened when it's going to the uptrend 
but it's like a, this area as well uh triangle is up here but after big correction we're going up trend to this blue triangle is pretty important for us that's why i said to you when i reach to the key area of the support and resistance that is key area of the support and resistance we not open the position blindly when the blue triangle is happen here because we are still on the on the key area of the resistance we didn't break it we should wait until to get a good signal from the market cipher a and that this one is good for us that is blue triangle red circle and the three uh, red uh, sorry three green diamond that is good for us to break it to get a good confirmation and market is uh, above the this green lovely green line and uh, that is good signal for us to get into the market above this one but under this example you can't get into the, this market because this one is a smart money candle and is gonna be too late for you to get into the waiting for the this candle is being closed and open the one line position on him that is basic thing about the mark cipher a and uh i'm gonna turn it this one off and uh going for the mark cipher b cipher b is a wave trend if you're going for the setting is a based on the wave trend and uh cipher b is a uh, that is uh and the uh, wave trend that is like a kind of the those one in the those information wave trend oversold and that based on the number i highly recommend that to leave it on the same default and and the this is a line is really important for us is a money flowing is not that much accurate like a market cipher b but that that's money that one is you know different with that one because that one is you need to pay for them for the that indicator but women choose cipher b it's really good compared with the you pay nothing for it uh just ignore those one and uh going for some of the wave trend that is gonna be, leave it on the default i don't use all of the or uh, like all of the wave or all of the line in the market cipher b sorry uh, woman to cipher b and uh, i don't use it uh, all of them but i use it use it for finding out the divergence only let's go and find out what we gonna get market cipher a i'm gonna change it to the two hours is more better because market cipher a is uh, sorry mm -hmm. Cypher B, women to Cypher B, is uh, give us the divergence based on the wave trend. They give us the good area of the divergence. To find the divergence, the people don't know about the divergence. Uh, divergence means when the we make a higher high, but on the rsi or on the wave trend we don't make a higher high too as you can see i'll just quickly describe it for you everyone knows that but i just for the people that you don't know about how markets uh, uh market make a higher high market make a higher high as you can see here market make a higher high just make it white 
but uh, wave trend make a lower low on the, this one. Make a lower low. That is called as a divergent. It's quick, uh, but I'll leave a link in the description how to find the divergence. Uh, we have a different divergence, hidden divergence, and the sort of thing. We're not gonna go in for that for now. And uh, you know that as you can see here, market make a higher high on the on the mar on the price, but on the wave trend, cipher B they show us the lower low. Potentially, we have a reversal. That is best example for divergence, but has a lot of mistake as well. As much as we make a higher high, all of them here, all the way up to here, right? That is show us here as well is uh, divergence, but we don't have a divergence here as well. You know, to be honest with you, we are mm, completely wrong this divergence because we make a higher high under this one and higher high lower low under this one this one is make a lower low because this is kind of the wave one uh just quick, quickly draw it for you uh that is wave one that is and this is area of the accumulation that is make a higher high and that this one is make a higher high too and uh that is uh basic thing about the cipher b and uh one more thing that i'm gonna get into for the lower that is here we are just uh we are make a we make a lower low on the mark the cipher b from to cipher b oh sorry on the price and uh, on the cipher B, we make a higher high. As you can see here, they make a higher high for us. That is really important. But this one is not like a make a higher high because that is not kind of the uh, trend make it because one candle is not really good because i completely ignore this one because this is not for the trend that we're looking for because uh this is uh look at the price that is drop like a heavy under this area that is a smart money candle and uh a really excitement candle when you see the those those candle you completely ignore about the uh you know rsi divergence or uh, vmc uh, divergence completely ignore those one uh because this candle it's pretty heavy candle you can you can't based on the one candle make a divergence and make a lower low market should be has a one really nice price action like a make a higher high make a high in correction make another higher high or make a one correction on the, this one as well make a higher high on the this area if the on the cipher b we make a on the this one is make it this one and uh oh sorry it's, uh, i'll make it this one on here cypher b and this one here and uh, this one is if the this one is happen it's called as a divergence because we, as much as we make a higher high the cypher b is make a lower low potentially reversal is happen on the, this one and uh one more thing that i'm gonna add it to my strategy 
the green dot and the red dot that is coming. Red dot on the above the wave trend that is uh, show us the potential reversal that is give us the good signal for the reversal. We need to find it at the area of the entry, trigger of the entry. And the green spot and the below this, this one is could be good area for the entry for the long position after get a support from the key area and uh, we're going to be potentially we're going to be going uptrend and uh, this is really important and the money flow and it's better to have a green but uh, to be honest with you as much as a big shout out for uh, woman to for the, this market but money flow is not that much accurate uh it's better to for the money flow use the other indicator i'm not using it that much to be honest with you money flow but i use it for the trading view uh just going for trading view like a screener for the find it out the money flow now we're gonna go in for the one more step ahead and uh find the two indicator that is been add on the we're gonna turn on the my uh, cipher a and the cipher b we meant you and uh that is really good for us to get a both is good confirmation as you can see here we get a big green dot on here on the, this area we have a triangle we're gonna go in for the base on the price action we're gonna go in for open the position around this area and uh just one of one more thing that I'm gonna add it onto my strategy that I'm gonna tell you. It's really important to understand the key area of the support and resistance. As much as you know, as much as they give us the all of them give us the good signal for us because this area for us is resistant, a strong resistant. We need to wait until to break above the this key area, right? This key area you need to break above it. As much as they give us the signal, money flow is going green. We have a divergence. As much as we have a, all of the this signal is happen on the indicator resistant for us and the support for us is really important you need to get a confirmation based on the price action for if you don't know if you don't know the how to identify the price action key area of the support and resistance you need to find it out first you not open the position blindly based on the emotion because the or based on the indicator to give you the signal you need to find it out the area of the key area uh, as you can see here you know break this area of the support or resistance resistance sorry uh, we have a one big big move on the market but before that if they give us the signal of the buy we completely ignore it unless we break above the, this area right and therefore this situation is happened too when the break couldn't break above the, this area potentially we're gonna go in for the short position but now we don't have any confirmation of the short position for now to open the position on this area we can we can get a kind of the scalp for lower time frame but for the swing train we can't get a, any uh 
movement on the market unless we break above the, this zone that is really important for us to break it above it because we have a big area on the resistance here if the break above it we potentially we're gonna go in for the around the 28 key area that is another key area of the support for us 28 to 29 but we need to wait until to get a confirmation thank you so much for watching and hope so is this one is added value to you and please smash the like button if you don't if they add a value to you and see you next time guys